Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tan Tan here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have brand new figures to show you. Here we have the Transformers Studio Series Starscream from the movie Bumblebee. And I know this is quite odd since he only appears in the beginning of the movies and only for a few seconds. But then again, they still make a I could say 90% new figures of this character. I think, and the reason for that I think will be the potential, because if they release this mode then they will be able to release all the other seekers as well you know like just some color changing and you got a new figures and on top of that i think starscream is a really popular character and so now let's begin so here we have the cybertronian jet mode of starscream and i'll take this as a continuity of these starscream designs since transformer war for cybertron and fall of cybertron and recently siege is that from now on i think cybertronian starscream will always be described as a triangulate jet you can see here you got that design and I know that many of you will feel frustrated about what has happening in the lower section of the jet I mean look at that huge cable but I guarantee you that won't be a problem because I don't feel like I'm gonna display him in this jet mode but rather in his robot mode but I think that it still needs some talk about it and of course, first is well, will be the color scheme, and this is the same old classic Starscream color scheme with white, red, blue, and with a little bit of yellow for the cockpit. And other than that, you got some black for the weapons and for some details. And what I really enjoy about this is that you he can actually have his weapon storage as a part of the jet. This is his blaster right here, and of course, you still got his null ray. And again, they are stored completely nicely and understand for combat purpose and I really enjoy that other than that one thing new is that the tip of the the tip of the jet is is not fully covered so you got actually a half of it so that is quite interesting because you now you got a little bit of white and of course the tip here is made from rubber I guess that it to prevent from breaking apart or something and the cockpit the cockpit is also made from rubber and I think that this is a brilliant idea considering how much this is going to be involved in the transformation. And so to prevent it from cracking and paint scratch, they just make it from rubber. And that is a really brilliant idea. And other than that, that is the most of it. Now let's have a full look. You can still got that Decepticon logo on the wings. And I absolutely enjoy the thruster detail. That is really nice and detailed. And of course, if you, if you look closely, he got a lot of painted details onto the wings. First, it will be the Decepticon logos, and that is beautifully painted on. And of course, this highlight of red and white on the gray sk color scheme as well. And you got a little bit of white onto the fin as well, which is really nice. And of course, as a studio series, and of course from the movie Bumblebee, he still inherited from that a lot of panel lining opportunities, which is great for surface detailing. But I think I will save that for the robot mode. Now it's time to get to some size comparison. So here we have Starscream next to Blitzwing and of course because of the transformation and everything he towers over Blitzwing but I guarantee you this difference only appears in the jet mode. And here we have Starscream next to Shudder in her jet mode. And of course this is the difference between a Deluxe and a Voyager. And finally we have Starscream next to Bumblebee. And without further ado let's get to some transformation. To begin with transformation, first I'm going to remove all the weaponry. So we have his blaster. And this is connected by this three port over here, which is really really secure. Then remove his two null ray. First up, flip up this flip up this section over. And then you can bring this arm out. And flip them upwards to form the shoulder. And then take out the hands. Then rotate the whole thing. Next up. Split open this part. Then untap this whole section. That will be the leg. 
And here's the interesting part. You're gonna rotate them out like that so you can start forming the leg. First, take out the feet. Then you want to bring this whole section out like that and bring this up bring this in and then close this you can bring this whole section down and they will fit inside just like that and there will be this tab here just tap them in and that will be done for the leg and this is a little bit more complicated because of the fin just bring them all in just like that and again then you got the leg done and then flip up the nose cone and at this point you want to bring this whole section and then flip up this chest plus head section until you hear the snap right. and bring down the arms and now you work on the wings flip this up rotate it and flip it upwards just like that and do the same thing again And now bring back the null ray. They will simply attach onto the wings. And we're done. Finishing transforming Starscream, I feel like this is a really satisfying transformation sequence. I mean like, at first I thought this is going to be just exactly as Blitzwing. But I feel like the only similar things could be the transformation of the chest by folding the whole thing up. But then again, the robot is completely different than Blitzwing, and I really enjoyed that aspect. I love the color scheme, and I actually I love everything about these figures. And I think it's about time for us to get to some details of the robot mode. So firstly, I have to mention this: I in how I enjoy his face sculpt. This is a really star screamy looking face, and of course, you still got that G1 characteristic mixed with some modern design. And just look at those details. You can obviously see Starscream as a treacherous Decepticon as we have always seen. But this time rather than having the normal face just like with the G1 or Transformer Prime because I think that is the two show where Starscream personality has been shown the most. This is still kept but then again redesigned with some face iron faceplate. And that is painted in the silver which is really nice. We got a black head and of course those eyes are beautiful and I really enjoy that. I really enjoyed this head design and of course this is a completely painted head you can got the black painted helmet the silver painted face and the red eyes which is really popping and I, how I enjoy I must say that I really enjoyed this I absolutely adore this design right here and of course you still got that his vent on the back this is his iconic design and of course they gotta keep it and oh look at all those venting on the body which is really nice and beautifully done I enjoyed this mechanical details a lot and now I'm gonna bring in Blitzwing in for a bit of comparison between the two chest section and here we have Starscream and Blitzwing and of course you can say how similar they are but then again although they look similar they are a lot more different than meet the eyes and because of the design so Starscream has been des des designed as a Cybertronian jet so he's still got that bulkiness and quite frankly if you turn him aside this make him kind of look kind of fat but compared to Blitzwing here Blitzwing has a more human a almost earth earthly design and so he look more in scale than to Starscream next up is the arms and of course you still got the iconic blue arms but if you just turn it a little bit and you got this whole bunch of silver painted details which is really nice I enjoy how they popped up and to be frankly, this is really beautiful. You got all these nice mechanical details and they are all painted in silvers. And that just look beautiful. Let me, uh, that, that is my best description to you guys. And of course the hands are still black. They are the normal transformer hand. 
And enough for that, and let's get to the leg. The leg here is also beautiful. I, I absolutely enjoy how they managed to get the thruster as part of the leg. So it proves that he can fly in his robot mode of some sort. You still got that same iconic color scheme. And the thigh here, you got that black. And then red and then silver. And I enjoy this color combination because that is really nice. And you get down a little bit and you are, this is more simple. You only got gray and blue with a little bit of white and the black thrusters. I enjoy how they painted the feet with some <coughs> extra blue so it matched the colors of the whole, the, the, the tone of the figures. Because unlike Blitzwing, you only got a solid gray paint at this time with Starscream. You got this blue here, which is a really nice highlight. And I absolutely adore this design of him. And if you turn it onto the back, now let's get to some wings. And of course, you still got some back cables, but to me, this is not, this is really clean and not too much of a problem. But the main compliment I have to give for the back will be his wing. Uh, I know that I enjoy Bliss Wing wing, but with Starscream Wing, this is a whole other level because you got that really nice folding and scratching wing section and they still can store the no ray on it and you still got that Decepticon logos. My biggest regret if you turn him around is that I wish that he would get a Decepticon logos onto the wing tips or anywhere else because this is quite lacking and to be honest it's quite a shame but that is enough for the details. I think I would be able to show you more in the pictures later on and I think it's time to get to some size comparison. Here's a size comparison between Blitzwing and Shatter. And if you can look closely, the start screen is a little bit, only a little bit taller than Blitzwing. And this shows that how the size of the Decepticon are truly scary. Because if you look, you remember the movie, Shatter is about the, a little bit taller than Bumblebee. But then imagine the, the Ar an Armada big guys like this and you have to face off with them. That would be really scary. And enough of the Decepticon, I think it's time to bring in Optimus. And here we have Starscream next to Optimus, and this is on the same, quite on the same scale. I think they are on even height. And Optimus might be slightly taller because of his tip, and that will be for size comparison. And now let's get to some accessories. So and here we have the accessories. This is his blaster, and this is only done in a simple blue and black. This is a blue piece of plastic with some black paint on the tips at the of the barrels, and of course you see this surface detailing, which is still really nice. And then I'm going to compare it to Blitzwing Blaster, so you can see. So the first thing I want to mention is Starscream Blaster is a lot bigger than Blitzwing. They may look somewhat similar between this. I think I guess this is the Decepticon Basic Arsenal stuff. And other than that, they, yeah, they are quite nice. And you can easily attach it onto Starscream hand by plugging it. And it looks kind of sloppy because as you can see the curve and everything and the reason for that I think is because of the handle are way too short and so it affects it and of course you can have an alternate thing like I do like folding in his arm and try to attach it this way I guess it makes him look better I, I guess this is my only my opinion and of course he can hold his two Norway in his hand it's like that if you want to have him do wheel or something. And I think it looks cool. It's a shame that this Norway cannot attach onto his shoulders just like in the original design of Starscream, the G1. But anyway, let's get to articulation. The articulation begin with the head. He can look up and down a little bit and do a full rotation. He doesn't got that chin section so he is not that hard to move his head around like Blitzwing. And his shoulders can rotate. And you got blocked by the wing, but you can always put the wing in the back for the full rotation. And he can move out. The arm is similar to Blitzwing. And so he got a swivel, he got a bicep swivel, he got a bend at the elbow, which is really nice, over 90 degrees. And his hands, unfortunately, are the normal transformer hand. So that means no swivel. He got a waist swivel by removing, by untapping this red section over here. So he got a waist swivel, which is really nice. He got a beautiful split. But then again, it's blocked by the, this armor piece over here. And he got a thigh swivel. But again, the, uh, the leg armor is kind of blocky in the way, but that is okay. And this is a kick to the front and the kick to the back, which is kind of limited because of how the design of him is 
you got a really nice bend at the knee that is a decent bend and last but not least you got a pivot which is surprisingly a good pivot look how and you got some feet movement as well articulation well i think this guy is enough for posing and i think he will look be looking good standing next to his other decepticon companies i'm quite disappointed with the leg articulation consider how good this wing was but i guess because this is a, because this is the design of cybertronian and so it's kind of limited the articulation because he got a lot more details going on more than Blitzwing. And so that will be wrapping up my Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Starscream review. I hope you enjoyed this figure. So what do you guys think? I think this is a really good shot and I think this is the only copies I would buy from Starscream. And I think I will be skipping out all the other figures if they are going to release him. And then again, if you are new onto this channel, give me a subscribe and a like on this video and share. And tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below. And also follow me on Instagram, that is where I do most of my updates and stuff. And last but not least, if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. So that could be it for today guys. Turn on out.